Hey, good day, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Andrew's Life. On this video, uh, I will be driving through the town of Nashville, Indiana. Hey, right. I, I just entered in the town of Nashville, Indiana. Now, I think this is a neat little town. I mean, it's a neat little town to come visit during the warmer months and also during the fall. I mean, now this little town does get a fair amount of tourists that will come through. And plus you also got people that might be going to school in Bloomington that might come here to Nashville to visit. Now Nashville, Indiana is in Brown County, Indiana. The population here is 1,097 people. The population density is only 721 people. So the population density here is fairly low. And this town has grown at a rate of 43.6% since 2010, because 2010 the population was, well the population was 1,097 people in 2010. The population now is 1,108 people. Now, I'm going to have to look at the numbers a little closer because I'm not sure how they get a population growth of 43% with those type of numbers. But whatever, who cares? It's not, you know, whatever. Now, the medium home prices here in Nashville. Oh, and by the way, I'm driving through the downtown area of Nashville. I thought I would start the video by driving around this area before I go into the actual town. But anyhow, the medium home prices here are $184,000. Now, right now, the cheapest I've seen a home for sale here is $200,000. So, it's pretty clear that this is a highly desirable, this is a highly desired place for people to live here in, the, here in Indiana. I mean, there's quite a few people out and about walking around, enjoying the summer weather. I mean, I would say a fair amount of these people are tourists. But, you know, this is a nice, quiet community to live. Now, of course, the housing prices here are rather expensive. You better have a little bit of money to live around here. I mean, if your income is not all that great, then my advice to you is, don't even waste your time looking at houses around here or apartments because you're not going to find anything.
But this is a wonderful community to come visit, take a walk around town, ride your bicycle around town. And and this town is quite hilly. It's not flat like most of Indiana. And you know, FYI, whenever you, the farther south you go in the state of Indiana, the more hilly many of your places are gonna be. Now Nashville does have a fair amount of hills. It is not flat at all. Now, even though this is such a small town, uh, entertainment-wise, there's quite a thing. There's quite a bit of things to, to do here, and I wrote a lot of it down. So, in a minute here, once I get to a place where traffic will be a little lower, I'll read them off to you. But basically, in a nutshell, if you want to. If you want somewhere nice and quiet to go with a little bit of class and grab you a bite, grab you a bite to eat at an upscale restaurant or go to a classy bar and grab you a few drinks with your friends or or your significant other. I mean this is a wonderful place to come to for that. I mean, you got the Brown County State Park here in, in Nashville. You got the Yellowwood State Forest here as well. got the Beer Rallo Distillery, the Beer Rallo Distillery, B-E-A-R-W-A-L-L-O-W Distillery, you got the Brown County Winery, you got the T.C. Uh, still state historic sites you got the Brown County Art Gallery which is close to town here you also got the Brown County Pioneer Museum an old log jail you can go visit and I guess sometime and I guess during the week if you're interested there's a train ride there's an express train ride that you can get, which will, I guess, take you around Nashville, Indiana. It'll take you around town here. I'm not sure what the cost is, if there's even a cost. I don't know about the cost. And there's also a candy emporium here too. And there's also the Rawhide Ranch here.
Now, if you're here in Nashville and you're looking for some free parking so you can park your vehicle and go about your business, this right here is where you'll park your vehicle. This is free parking. However, they do got signs that state no RVs are to, to be here and also no overnight parking. So for you nomads out here that want to come to Nashville, FYI, don't come here thinking that you're going to spend the night. I mean, you could, you can try if you want to and you might get away with it. Nobody might, nobody might bother you, but there's signs that you are not to be here with an RV or be here overnight. So FYI, so if you come here and you choose to break that wool, don't be surprised to get a knock on that door by the local police department. And as you guys can see, this little town does have a fair amount of traffic, both during the week and over the weekend. And this is, this area right here is where you will board the train that will drive you around Nashville, Indiana. Most of the places that I named off on a list in terms of things to do 
you're gonna find either downtown here or you're gonna find somewhere very close to this area. Now, some more information about this city uh, 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 or town of Nashville, Indiana. Within an hour of Nashville, uh, you got Indianapolis, Bloomington. You got Indianapolis, Bloomington. And you also got Columbus, Indiana, which the population in Columbus is close to 50,000 people, which eventually. I will get around to doing the video both of Bloomington and Columbus. So those are just a few communities that are within an hour of here. That will offer you much more amenities than what you'll find here in Nashville. Now Nashville being as small as it is, I mean, don't get me wrong, you're gonna have way more amenities here than the average small town in Indiana.
and also Martinsville, Indiana, which I will be, which I've done a video of. Martinsville is a half hour away from here. The population there is a little over, it is close to 12,000 people. This is, let's see. As you guys can see, there's quite a bit of things to do here in Nashville, Indiana. I mean, Nashville, Indiana is very much a tourist community. I mean, Nashville, Indiana is, a very, is very much a tourist community.
that was the Truth Hills that I just drove through. Here's the art gallery right here. I'm driving by it right now. minute or two my camera is going to cut off it's getting close to that half hour mark I mean sometimes I might be able to do like 33 minutes and then it's going to cut me off so I'm going to keep on rolling the video here for as long as my phone will allow me to But yeah, this t this town being a tourist town, you know, this town, as y'all can see, is not your typical small town, Indiana type of community. So if you're coming to Indiana and you're looking for a little bit of excitement, I guess, come down here to Nashville and check it out for yourself. I mean, like I said, there's plenty to do. There's plenty of museums. There's plenty of places to go out to eat. There's plenty of little shops to go to and buy souvenirs. You want to grab a drink with your friends or your significant other or just grab you a drink or two by yourself. 
there's plenty of places to go to where you can make that happen. Just to make you drink, obviously I do not encourage people to drink and drive or in any way, shape or form be impaired. So if you're gonna drink, do what you gotta do to drink responsibly. Just use your common sense. And this video is gonna cut off in a in a minute or so. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the video and everybody have a blessed one and like always, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing and leaving comments below. And if you know any additional information about Nashville that I did not cover. I'm pretty sure there's stuff I did not cover. Feel free to leave a comment below. Until the next time, everybody have a blessed one.